we hear a lot about visualization in hockey and tell us how you used it and how it was effective for you. Before the game, we'd always get there about two hours before and you had a bit of a downtime for yourself to take to do something with, uh, to, to help motivate yourself. So I used to take my sticks up into a dark corner in the arena and look over that blank sheet of ice and, and, and I would put on some music that motivated me and I would sit there and I would focus on that ice surface and I would play the game out that I'm about to play in my mind. I would go through every situation that I would possibly find myself in in a hockey game and play it out and play it out and sit there for half an hour. And then as I was visualizing the situations of the in-game situations that were going to occur, I always was succeeding in every one of these situations. I was kind of put on top. I was victorious in everything I was doing. So that when the game time came around, I had already played the game. Because I already played it out of my mind. So every time I got into a situation, I knew exactly how it was going to turn out. Because I had already played it out of my mind. So I think it gave me a little bit of a quicker reaction to everything I was doing. It might have been just a, a split second, but I, I, I really did feel that it benefited me. Nice. Yeah, you're using your mind to train your body. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform on your play. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.